What's up, everybody? We're back. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, welcome back to the second episode of Brackets Are My Business and Business Is Good. This is us trying to determine what is the greatest Megadeth song of all time. We are on the second episode here. Hopefully, you listened to the first uh, episode. If you didn't, listen to this one first and then go back and listen to that one. Uh, so that way you can keep up. This is going to be a 12-part series, so strap in. You're going to be here for a long fucking time. Uh, we got we got 16 new songs for you this week. There's some good ones, and there's some not-so-good ones. You know, I think that's... I think if you're writing uh, a review of Megadeth, I think that's probably it. There's some good songs, and then there's not some good... No, not-so-good songs. So... Uh, as is tradition here on uh, this show, if you've never done a bracket with us, we like to shuffle the bracket not three times, not five times, but four times to ensure that none of us know or have ever seen any of the matchups before. Dave, do it. Shuffle it. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Here we go. All right. All right, locking it in. I've saved it. I'm about to start the bracket. So that I cannot change it. It's done. It's started. Um, all right. Start? I've started it. So, Adrian, we are in round one. Uh, the first matchup. <laughs> round one. Thank you. Thank I, you, sir. All right. <clears throat> first song from the album, The System Has Failed. Something that I'm not going up against. Junk air from the, the Sick, the Dying, and the Dead. Ooh. That's right. an easy junkie right. for me. Junkie fucking rules. Does it? Junkie is easy. Junkie, junkie is a good song. Like I, I think it's a good song. Junkie is Ozzy. Ozzy also has a song called Junkie, and it's better than this one. No, but it's this not. is good. Uh, have you heard the Ozzy one? I have. From oh Down God. to Earth, yes, I have. Uh, oh God, no! There's no fucking way it's better. Jesus Christ! Uh, junkie it, it is definitely be. one of the Megadeth songs of all time. It's one of them. <laughs> it's uh, one of it's them. Definitely, it's definitely a song. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I Look, I, I have a professed love for The System Has Failed. I think that's massively underappreciated on this channel. Um, and uh, I'm going to be a something that I'm not vote. I really like that song. I gave... I went back and looked at my scores that I gave that album. I gave that album a 27 on the shit meter from back in the day, which would be a 7.3 today. So I gave it a pretty good score. Uh, compared to some other Megadeth, so I don't know. Look, Junkie's a Junkie's a good song. I've enjoyed jamming it um, this last month, but I do have something that I'm not slightly ahead of it on my list here. So I am I am also a something that I'm not. But I think it's I think the song is about Lars. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> so you know that 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 is a fun that is a fun thing of the song that I think about. Although I like to think about also. The fact that Metallica has never taken the time to write a Dave Mustaine song. What does that mean? I don't know. Something that I'm not. Good song. He's probably means they don't care about him. <laughs> All right, so we're 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 two to one for something that I'm not. I'm gonna come in as a junkie vote. I think that's wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. Jason, it's up to you. Early. 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 All right, just so, just so that uh, I, I have to, I feel like I have to say this before each one of these brackets. I uh, I am not familiar with Megadeth. Uh, I was the last holdout in this group to ever listen to any of the Megadeth uh, albums. You and Jonah. Okay, and uh, so I'm I'm coming at this uh, like non-biased in any way as far as knowing what is a good album. What's like there's no nostalgia album. for you. Correct. I'm just going uh, song by song and giving it the score that I feel like it deserves. And in this case. Uh, Junkie is uh, the third worst song in this bracket, so it is an easy uh, something I'm not. Okay. Wow, the third okay. worst song? Okay, like, whoa. Yeah. Like, look, I know I voted for something that I'm not, but I That's almost want to change my vote just because of how offensive <laughs> that statement is. Like, look, I had, I had Junkie, like, seventh on mine. Like, it, I, was, it, it was it was in the top half for sure. It was j j j janky. I have it. I have it at nine. I had it at eight, but I moved. A, but I moved a song ahead of it uh, while I was waiting today. All right. All right. Well, in, in any case, something that I'm not moves on. 
knocking out Junkie. I did not expect that. I honestly thought Junkie was going to go a little bit further here. Uh, so we'll see. All right, next matchup. <clears throat> From the album Cryptic Writings, we have Sin. All right. There's a lot of cryptic writings on this. Uh, there, there is. Going up against... Uh, from a very Almost like an overabundant. Stop it. Uh, from, <laughs> from from the most underappreciated and like really just misunderstood modern metal classic that is Super Collider, Kingmaker. Oh. Kingmaker. Mm. Uh, what, were, what were the songs again? Sin, Sin and, Kingmaker. and Kingmaker. I'm gonna come in early as a Kingmaker vote because Sin is a sin Ooh. for it existing. And Kingmaker is a great song. This one's tough. It's actually pretty good, but that, it's an easy Kingmaker for me. Yeah, I, I just I, I went for the joke. I don't I don't I actually don't have Sin very low on my on my list, but I do think like straight up all memeing aside, like I don't know what people's fascination is with hating on Super Collider. Like that album is very very good. Like I'm gonna. I'm going to jump in only because this is, this is uh, one of the matchups that probably going to be the closest in the two songs that I've, I've given scores on. Uh, I think both of these songs are very good, uh, but I'm going to give the very slightest of edge to Sin. Oh, all right. All mm -hmm. right. Two to one mm -hmm. for Kingmaker so I, far. Very I'm going to come good. in real fast. I'm going to come in real fast as a Sin vote as well. What? Well, on, on what, is, Josh. what is wrong with you? Josh, please. Please. Uh, those, are, those are just wasted votes, dude. This is the easiest kingmaker of my entire existence. Um, listen, uh, Super Collider is the second best Megadeth record of all time. Uh, I love that record. Kingmaker is, right. I mean, look, it's, it's definitely not the best song on that record, um, but it's, it's definitely better than Sin. I had Sin in my bottom four. Sin is. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> Cryptic I, you know, is, I, I, is a fucking awesome album. I do feel like I, mean, uh, it, I, I do feel like I go want, ahead. Go ahead. Jason. I'm just saying I, I do feel like since me and Jonah liked it and we're the ones at least familiar, I'm just curious as to is there a big disparity in the two albums that those songs are on? Yes, I have. So I gave Cryptic Writings overall a six, and I gave I don't remember what I gave Super Collider, but I'm pretty sure it's in the eights. So just generally speaking, not really talking about us, but just as, as you know, <clears throat> the Megadeth fans at large, Cryptic Writings is is part of what's considered the classic lineup of Megadeth. Because um, it came right after Euthanasia, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Nick Menza, Dave Mustaine. Uh, <sighs> Marty Friedman still? Marty Friedman. And uh, what is, I'm blanking on the bass player's name. <laughs> Somebody oh, help me. David. Out. Dave Ellison. Dave, Dave Ellison. Ellison. There it is. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. Is. So there was a run of like four or five albums I, where where they were all on. I swear to God, I thought you had already said the bass player, and I thought you were just blanking on Dave Mustaine. I was like, no, <laughs> no, because I, 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 it messed me up because it's Dave and Dave. It's Dave Ellison and yeah. Dave Mustaine. Um, but anyway, th that's part of their classic run, Jason, and and so Cryptic right. Writings is is part of that. Run. Well, like I said, this is one of those situations where I just I'm just curious if if me and Jonah just saw the song differently because we don't know the album association. Nah, I mean Super Collider is universally panned. We we like it, but it's universally panned as like their worst really? record. Yeah. What? Yeah. Bro, yes. Hell no. Yeah. yeah, it's it's rated as one of their worst. Like it is it if you look at most of the sites, like Super Collider is dead last in almost every site you'll look at. Like by far. Wow. Um, now I want to listen. Uh, the only exception I would I've seen is Risk, Risk. But, like, but like it's Risk and Super Collider like way below everything else. Mm. Anyway, next uh, matchup. Moving on. Yeah. So uh, we may not want to waste too much energy on this one. Um, <clears throat> so from Cryptic Writings, we have the Disintegrators okay. uh, going up Great against. Song. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good song. Going up against from so far so good. So what? Anarchy in the UK. Um, no. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my vote in for the Disintegrators. Same. Look before before we kill this, 
not including anything from their uh, their cover album or the Hidden Treasures. Um, this is probably their best of, of their. They had three covers for the three albums, their first three albums. This is probably <laughs> not say easily the best one. Um, That's unfortunate. I That's didn't. Good. This is a good. I cover. really, I really hated this song when we went through that album. But like jamming this out, like it was, it was totally fine. I mean, yeah. it's the worst song on that album. Um, and <laughs> and I'm they should have wrote, and they shouldn't it. have, they should not have put it on the record. I mean, I just hate covers. Like, I don't know. Like, it just it covers on a uh, as one of your official tracks on a studio album. I just, I just hate mm-hmm. that. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, that's. Obviously, it's going to be the disintegrators. For so me. that's three three zero uh, for dis- the disintegrators. What do we got next? Who's going next? Uh, I'll jump in. Disintegrators for me. Uh, Anarchy in the UK is terrible. Disintegrators is probably one of the. It was probably the the song that rose the most from when we originally listened to it back in the in the days that we did the original list uh, to now. This was this was a big time grower for me this time around. Yes, yeah, it's. it's- uh, while Anarchy in the UK is is not a bad cover, like I agree with Adrian, like you just don't you don't put them on a studio album. And Disintegrators is in my top five. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, don't 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 give it away too soon, man. You're gonna have us just right. uh, mess with you. Um, right. All right, Disintegrators moves on in the first sweep of the night. <clears throat> uh, could be the only sweep of the night, actually. We got some good matchups here. Um, all right, guys. So. Uh, this I don't know where this one's gonna go. Uh, from <clears throat> P cells, but who's buying? We have Wake Up Dead. Uh, going up against uh, from Cryptic Writings again. She Wolf. Damn, that's a serious matchup right there. Okay. Really. <laughs> I'm gonna come in hot as a She Wolf vote. It's Yikes. got a really good intro riff. It's a jam. Bridge Dude, solo I think is pretty really... good. You'd really like Cryptic Writings. You gotta jam that album. It's so good. Yeah, I've I've yeah. learned that from this bracket. I don't think gonna, all of the songs on this on this bracket are good from that album, but it's also mixed really differently from a lot of their other music. So I'm curious to check. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it has it's, it has a different vibe to it. I'm gonna. It's I'm gonna, noticeably a worse sound than Euthanasia and um, Countdown. Extinction. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wish I'm gonna, I wish I'm you. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a quick two zero lead. Uh, look, I'm gonna catch you back up to Wake Up Dead because y'all are stupid. Uh, Wake Up Dead is Wake, a great Wake song. Up Dead is is in my bottom three. Uh, uh, Jason lets goofy riffs uh, mess with him when they're like just a little bit different. Dude, that's such. That's such a good song. Dude, wake up, wake Adrian, up, Adrian. Adrian where you at? Even, uh, go ahead and go, Josh. Go ahead and go, please. Oh, I'm I'm gonna end I'm gonna end the misery here. If uh, I was just gonna let you say "Wake Up Dead" so I can make it three or two, but okay, yeah, it's "Wake Up Dead" easily. Yeah, that's good. It's three. Uh, it's definitely yeah. "She Wolf" by a fucking mile. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a contest for me. It wasn't a contest for me, dude. I mean, just. Wake Up Dead is like two minutes of bullshit, like instrumental, and then it's a minute of just bullshit vocals. Like it's dude, not good, dude. The ending, the I, I the, the, the ending, ending, riff. ending is good. Yeah, it's really good. When it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like both of these songs, so I, I don't I don't give a shit. Uh, Wake dude, Up Dead has a really badass middle uh, middle section. Um, and I, I don't know. I just think that that goofy intro riff fucking rules, man. Like, yeah. I, I think know. I think "Wake Up Dead" is an absolute banger. Y'all are fucking. Wake up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. I Come think on, it's a bad song. She, I don't think "Wake Up Dead" is a bad song. Good all the way through. Yes. Yeah. She Wolf is really better. good. She Wolf actually might be the better song, but it. Dude, I, I mean, it's got that like harmony guitar solo at the end of it. Dude, come on. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. where this next one is going to go. Do you, Dave? I do. Uh, anyway. Um, she Wolf moves on three to two, so we have As some. It should. No, it shouldn't, but that's fine. Uh, all right, <laughs> from killing is my business and business is good. We have mechanics uh, uh, going up Ooh. against uh, from Super Collider off the edge. Ooh, interesting. Um, it's one hundred percent mechanics for me. 
Hey, Jay, uh, love that Adrian, you may want to you may want to take this opportunity to try to sell us on it here. Otherwise, I fear <laughs> that it may lose. <laughs> I, I, I already expected to, and that's unfortunate because this is one of the kind of one of the throwaway songs from Super Collider. Um, I don't really have anything to sell. I just think this song sounds way better fast. I don't know. I, I'm not going to disagree with Adrian. The fact that it it does sound good uh, fast. Uh, there are sections of the lyrics that I actually like uh, com compared to its uh, adversary. I guess you want to call it. I just find. Uh, and I've said this, yeah. I think, to, to Dave. I think I think this is such an interesting case in which two different bands have enough rights to a particular song to create their own version of it. And uh, I think they're both good. Uh, but in this uh, this uh, matchup, it is a off the edge vote for me. Dude, when he says "fuck yeah," like at the end, dude, I legit feel like I get buffed. Like, uh, uh, you know, like a fucking sorcerer buffs you. Like, dude, it fucking rules. All are full of shit. And the, and the fucking solo blows fucking Kirk Hammett's bullshit out of the water. I mean, anyway. I, I mean, they're, they're nearly the same solo, though. Like, I don't... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to fight you on it. I'm just saying, like, like they're, like, almost the same solo, like, for real. Like, almost like Dave Mustaine wrote it. I don't know. No, I mean, he did, probably. Like, I'm not... This uh, yeah, this isn't a gotcha. Like I, I'm, I'm just saying. I don't think they're very different from a solo perspective. Now you know, Forestman does have the bridge that I think adds a lot of stuff to it. But look, we're not. This is not comparing those two songs. We're comparing the mechanics versus Off the Edge. Um, well, it's because we know where this is going. Go ahead. Yeah. And go ahead and end it. Uh, who? Does somebody else want to go? Uh, I mean, it's without you know. Didn't really need to be said, but it's going to be an off the edge vote for me as well. Uh, Josh, uh, you go. I, I, I just find it funny that we're like Shit. trying to talk ourselves into a song that Megadeth plays worse than the band who played it originally, <laughs> and we're trying to act like it's this like passable song. Like, they take... And listen, this is not even... Like, he could have kept this riff. Like, this riff is just a throwaway riff anyway for the, for the song. But he takes this sloppy riff anyway from Four Horsemen. And then he says, you know what? Let's play it at two times speed. And it sounds terrible. Like, the, anybody on this fucking show that says, oh, it sounds good. No, it doesn't. It sounds like dog sound shit. No, it, it doesn't. Sounds great. If you didn't, sounds great. If you didn't, didn't it sounds know great. the riff, if you didn't know the riff already, you wouldn't be able to hear shit on this song. It's just fucking, it's just garbled mess. Dude, it's, <laughs> it, is, it is the easiest off the edge <clears throat> vote in the history of the planet. Is it one of those situations where they just played it fast because they could? No matter yes. what, the, the I, I yes, of the I do think 100%. It's because Dave Mustaine wanted to make a faster, heavier band than Metallica. I, I, I would probably guess, especially at that time, that it was Dave saying "fuck you." Uh, yeah, well, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, you know, right after he did, you know, cocaine and cheeseburgers, he wrote, yeah. you know, yeah. he he recorded the mechanics, hamburgers, hamburgers and cocaine. My bad, I'm sorry. They couldn't afford cheese because they bought the cocaine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, <laughs> look, I'll throw a vote to the mechanics. I don't. I don't think the mechanics is a bad song. And actually, I. I, I do find. I do prefer it over off the edge, uh, straight up. Um, but I will say, you know, it is a. It is worse than Four Horsemen for me. That's probably years of pent up bias. I'll admit that. But I mean, I. I I'm not going to pretend, right? I, if it's bias, it's bias, right? Uh, Dude, but yeah, yeah no, you had I, I, years I, I, to listen to the better song. I'm sorry. You had 20 plus years to listen to the better song. I mean, look if we're if we're splitting hairs here, technically the mechanics is the original. Like it is. Like that is the, the original. original version. Yes, I didn't say the original. I said the better. That, I I understand what you're saying. Um, all right, off the edge moves on, uh, knocking out the mechanics. Um, 
Next up. Lots of lots of three to twos. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't expect this much arguing, to be fair, but that's good. That's good for content. Um, so uh, coming up from the system has failed, which means it's probably going to get voted off. Uh, we have back in the day, uh, back in the day when I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Um, <laughs> going up against, thankfully, like one of the worst songs I've ever heard in from Risk, The Doctor is Calling. Oh, oh man. Dude, so I went back and reviewed my doc, my uh, my risk notes. Um, so, like on our on our scoring basis, I gave the album Risk a point five, <laughs> like less <laughs> less than a one. Um, the album is an abomination. I even still had to put like my worst songs for that record at the time, and the Doctor is Calling was one of the songs as that I wrote as one of the worst. So if it's, if it's on the worst album and it's one of the worst, this is one of the worst songs to really ever exist. And I don't even have it as my bottom two. It's my third from the bottom. That tells you how bad these other two songs are. Um, Whoa. Man, this song blows. Doctor's <laughs> Calling sucks. Uh, is there, is there back in the day. I didn't look at the lyrics. There's one part where he says, is the shot clock is calling? I mean, yeah. you're, you're probably yeah. right. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to vote Back in the Day. Uh, I, I actually think Back in the Day is a really good song. Yeah, I I mean, on, the, on the, the opposite song. side of that, not to shit on Back in the Day, great riff. I mean, also just a great song. Yeah, yeah Back in the Day is the song that uh, I came around on uh, spending the, the last month with this album. Uh, I didn't really care for it in the beginning, but... Uh, uh, and, I think that was back in the I day. Think I think it's creeped into my top five. So it's an easy back in the day vote for me. Adrian, uh, where are you Doctor's at? Doctor's Calling is in my bottom three. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to throw a, uh, um, a pity vote to the Doctor's Calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, the Doctor's Calling is, is gone. Uh, four to one. Yeah. Uh, back in the day moves on. Uh, Adrian, <clears throat> we're in the second to last matchup of round one. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, oh, dude, this is so good. Um, <clears throat> from the album Cryptic Writings, as is most of this, uh, I'll get even. Uh, a go. good one, a great one. It is a great one, but can it can it beat the real potential hero? You know, the world needs a hero, and this song might answer the call. Moto Psycho. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. I am unironically going to throw a vote to Moto Psycho. Unless it wins. No. I, uh, I, I think it's uh, super I, I catchy. Hated this song when I, I hated this song when I first heard it. I hated it so fucking much. Moto Psycho? Moto Psycho got stuck in my head. Yeah. Oh, it got stuck Psycho. in my head. And now when it Move comes it on, lose dude, it's it, like baby. A, it's it's on my workout playlist, um, dude. Like, <laughs> man, uh, I just feel like on that basis alone, I'm gonna have to choose Moto Psycho. Oh my god, that's too zip. Moto Psycho. Uh, it, Moto it is Psycho catchier than is fuck. catchy. It is catchy as fuck. I will tell you that of the songs on this bracket, that is one of the songs that stays in my head. Uh, and I don't hate a song, but it stays in your head for the wrong reasons. Uh, I'll Get Even is absolutely a banger. Uh, it's a very good song. I'll Get Even is a very good song. It's, it's in my I, top five. I, honestly, we'll you know care. what? It, I'll Get Even is a better song. I changed my vote. It, right. it really is a better song. No, really you're, you're, I mean, look, like, you're probably right. I mean, like, I don't care. So that's two to one. I'll Get Even. I, I, I'm sorry. I still like both songs, by the way. Uh, it's going to be a motorcycle vote. Oh, oh, fuck. oh, 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 I, oh my god, thank god Adrian switched his vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah motorcycle was one that I just like, <laughs> crushed, crushed on that album whenever we listened to it. Like, it was dog shit. And um, listening to it again on this bracket, it was just above dog shit. I have it, I have it just above the mechanics and just under Wake Up Dead. Uh, I'll get even. Great song, much better. So it's an I'll get even vote. All right, See what Adrian, 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 Adrian killed the dream. And and look, I will like, tell I'm just, you, I'm just, 
I'm, I'm memeing. Like that's that's not fair. Like I don't want to do another fucking and justice for all. Look, fucking look, life I, the I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you right now, Adrian. There is a real shot. If you would have let Motorcycle win, it would have made it to the final four. Because I'm looking at this right now. Absolutely. Like it would have made it. It would have lived the dream. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Adrian, Adrian at the end of the night had been like. Adrian, yeah, I'd be like, guys, guy, we'll change my vote. I fucked up. I fucked up again. <laughs> All right. From the the lone representation of Rust and Peace on this list, we have Poison Was the Cure. Um, going up against another cover. Uh, this one from The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead police truck. Uh, Wait, Poison Was the Cure. I'm Wait, just going to get this out of the way. Police truck is a cover, yes. Way. Police truck is my vote. Whoa! What is wrong with you? I need I need explanation. <laughs> I like the song. It's, what? it's what do you want me to say? It's dog shit. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I, will, hey, Jonas, I, will, uh, I will say this. I, I uh, uh, historically I'm the only one who's not a big fan of uh, uh, Rust and Peace. Um, like it pisses these guys off, especially David. <laughs> Um, uh, but I don't know, man. I just something about the album just that doesn't get me. So I'm not shocked. So anyway, sorry, Jason. No, I was just gonna say, uh, police truck did, uh, did ascend slightly over the last month, but not by much. It's still the worst song on this bracket. Uh, <laughs> one of the one of the one of the worst songs uh, I've heard from Megadeth. Uh, it's an easy poison was the cure vote for me. So that's two to one. Also, Poison was a cure. Poison was a cure. I don't. I don't remember it being like that good from the album. So I don't know. If it's just because there's just like garbage on this list, and so it just stands above some of the garbage on this list. But that's a good song. All right. So that I'm assuming that's three to one. J- Adrian, did you vote? Yeah, I, I voted. I voted for. Uh, we yeah, we both uh, said Poison was a cure Poison. earlier. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. four four to one. Jonah, you're the Lone Ranger there. Police truck uh, does not move on. Thank God. Uh, thank God. I was partially memeing for th- for for three main reasons. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh, that's four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. We're in round two. Round one is over. We've eliminated eight bullshit songs. This is the real bracket here. Uh, um, some were pretty good. Yeah, some of these songs are good. All right. First matchup here. This is this sucks for me, um, because yeah, the, these, I love both these songs. So we got something that I'm not going up against Kingmaker. That sucks. This is a good mm. matchup. It is a good matchup. I think I like both these songs. Um, Go ahead, it. Jason. Uh, man, this is uh, this is an extremely close vote for me. Like this is, uh, I mean, there I could go either or. Uh, on any given day. I'm going to go by the very slimmest of margins, something I'm not. It's going to be Kingmaker for me. God. I knew you were going to do that. But it's going to be know. Kingmaker for me also. Fuck. I'll make it harder for you, Dave. Uh, I'm going to go something that I'm not. Great record. System has failed, man. We need more people in this world to love that record. We need more people, Dave. Come along for the ride. <laughs> that record fucking blows. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's, Dude, it, it's, it's, it's their worst record. Not even. Not not even. The rest. I, think, I think Super Collider is their second best record, and I'm still voting for something that I'm not. I'm just saying. Do it, Dave. <sighs> Um. Yeah, I got I got to do it, man. I I really love System Has Failed. Uh Kingmaker is a great song. Um I I I'm sorry, Josh. I can't do it. Kingmaker it, it, it's the better song. What? It's the better song. Some uh, that I, intro alone, man. That intro alone is so solid. Kingmaker is a better song. Fuck. That sucks. Uh I didn't want to do that. Uh, but it had to happen. But you did. Uh, the disintegrators going up against She Wolf. This is a very tough mm. matchup. Mm. Damn. 
I'm gonna be Is a she wolf vote. Oh, both of these songs are in my top five. What'd you say, Joda? She wolf. You went with she wolf. Oh damn. Okay. Uh, I'm, um, gonna, I'm gonna go to the disintegrators. Uh, from the start, I liked the disintegrator. She wolf made up a lot of ground over the, the last thirty days. Uh, so the slight advantage still goes to disintegrator for me. I'm a disintegrator vote. I gotta go she wolf. Oh shit! Is that she wolf? I'm a she, I'm a she wolf vote. Yep. All right, that's that's. Let's she-wolf go. Vote. All right, off the edge versus back in the day. I'm gonna come quick with the back in the day vote. Wait, uh, back know. in the day. What is it? Off the edge and off back the in edge the day? and back in the day. It's Dang back man. in the day, baby. All right, that's three. Uh, that's three zero. I mean, it's yeah. over, but whatever y'all want to do. Uh, by the slightest margin, the I, I like off the edge better. All right, uh, four to one. Back in the day, moves on. Last matchup in round one, or sorry, round two. Fucked up. Uh, I'll get even versus poison was the cure. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'll get even here. Uh, I, I think poison was the cure is a, a good song, but it is one of the weaker ones <coughs> from that record. Uh, but I think I'll get even is the better song. I'll get even. I'll get even. I'll get even. Poison was the cure. Damn. Four to one. All right. I, I did not expect this final four. We have Kingmaker going up against She Wolf in uh, the uh, semifinals. Damn. Hmm. That's a good matchup, actually. Uh, I'm going Kingmaker here. I'm going not, She Wolf. It's not difficult for me. Oh. Hmm. It's not. It's not difficult for me either. It was more difficult the last round, so it's a she wolf vote for me. Fuck. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. Well, we're gonna see she wolf in the finals. Yeah, baby. Dude, that song sucks. <laughs> I have that song. It's just she wolf. I have that it's song in in. Uh, I have that song in my bottom half. Uh, Whenever really? we did our top three songs. For cryptic writings, <laughs> She Wolf was in my top three. Um, so was mine. Yeah, I don't like that song. Back in the day, going up against I'll Get Even. It's a good matchup. This is a yeah. This is a tough matchup. For uh, sure. I'm going back in the day. Back in the day. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with I'll Get Even for sure. I think I that mean, looked I, like no me 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 aside is probably the best song on this bracket for me. I've got I'll Get Even just ahead of Back in the Day. Jason, it's up to you. Uh, this is a pretty close uh, matchup. Uh, ah, man, this is a tough one. Fuck. It's a uh, I'll get even vote for me. Oh, wow. Dude, I am. It, nothing is falling my way tonight. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, before we decide the final, um, I think this this uh, third place matchup is really strong. This this would be my final, honestly. Kingmaker versus Back in the Day. Uh, Back in the Day. This is literally my one and two on my on my list. This is an easy Back in the Day vote. Back in the Day, all day. Back in the Day Damn. would be mine. King Kingmaker. That four to one. So. Back in the day, it'd be third place. Kingmaker is Dirty Toilet Water, number four. Yeah. Um, all right. In the finals. I know. Uh, man. Uh, you know, this happened last time, I think. Euthanasia kind of took over the first bracket. Cryptic Writings has taken over this one. Uh, top two songs from that record. I guess I need to revisit that album. <clears throat> um uh, she Wolf going up against I'll, I'll Get Even. I'll start. I think this is the easiest I'll Get Even of my entire life. Damn. I'm, I'm going to completely disagree. I think it's an easy She Wolf vote. Man, I don't wow. see what y'all see in that song at all. It, it's it's uh, a very it's good. guitar work, man. It's very great good. guitar riffs. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean the great guitar yes. solo. How's the David Sane shows up good in that one? Yeah. They're good. The vocals are good. I guess. The song sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man, this is a tough one. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, I'll Get Even. Oh. By, slim, by slim margin. Slim margin. 
This is um, this is my number two and number three songs on my list. You guys voted out my first my first song, and, and you hurt me. You hurt my heart with something that I'm not. <laughs> I love that song. Um, my number two song though on this list is She Wolf, just over I'll Get Even. So it's She Wolf vote for me. That's two two. Oh. Mm-hmm. Who hasn't voted? Two, That's you, Adrian. Two. All oh, up to it. you, Adrian. Okay, yeah. so. Here, here's where my head is at with this. Before we started going through this, it 100% would have been She Wolf, 100%. But jamming this, jamming this, or knowing this was on there, every time I hear cryptic writings, it gets better for me. Fuck, man. Uh, I, I look, guys. I don't want another my friend of misery on me. I, I think I have to go with. I'll get even. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Yeah, Look, okay. that's that's acceptable. I'll, I'll, get, even, that. I'll get even. I'll get even. Was my great song. Was my number two song. What yeah. was your number one, Jason? Uh, the, the Disintegrators. Number one. Nice. Yikes! Yeah. Love that song, dude. I'm telling you, um, cryptic writings fucking rules. Yeah, I guess album. I need to. I need to jam that. Um, she, uh, she wolf. She wolf and off the edge were tied for my third song. Hmm. Dave, your number one was back in the day? Uh, yeah. Jonah, what was your number one? Back in the day as well. Adrian? I, I think uh, it, it was I'll Get Even. I, I think yeah. it might, I think it's, it's, it's the best song on this bracket to me. So I, mean, I, I actually gave that spoiler away earlier, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, back in the day, number four. That's a good song. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I had. Song. Yeah, I had uh, I had a, I'll get even at number at my number three. So, so did I. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, if you have this video as your number three, go ahead and hit that like, hit the subscribe. We're putting out weekly metal content right now. We got metal reactions, metal reviews, metal time machines, metal brackets, and all kinds of other cool shit. And hey, in the meantime, live long and prosper. Take it easy, everybody. Later. Yep. Peace. <laughs> See ya.